Hey, boat friends. Around 7.30 a.m. Central Time, we have the Philip R. Clark coming inbound to Duluth, Minnesota. She's going to be heading under the area lift bridge. You can see up 135 feet, 51 degrees, 8 mile per hour wind. Give you a shot of the beach over there in Park Point. A few people are over there. We have the Joseph L. Block that you'll see right here. Sitting out there at anchor. Beautiful morning. You can see the sun is out. I want to get you quickly caught up on marine traffic. We'll take a look at the details about the Clark. He's moving at uh, just over eight knots. He's gonna be going through the Duluth aerial lift bridge. That's where we are at. Go through the Duluth Harbor Basin. He's gonna go through the Blotnick Bridge and um, she's gonna unload limestone right over here at Hallett 5. Coming from Michigan, let's walk up these stairs. Give you a quick perspective and then we'll go back down. This is that lighthouse that you see at the end of the South Pier. Give you a nice shot of the lake and the sunrise at pretty much complete at this point. Philip R. Clark, 767 feet in length, built in 52, owned by Great Lakes Fleet. That's a fun perspective coming up here. Well, we'll go back down. And I'll walk along the wall, get a nice perspective as the vessel comes through the canal. I like moving around. I wanted to show you this too. So I'm assuming this was caused during these storms that we saw during the winter. Take a look at this. I mean, to have that vent, and that's just not an anomaly. You have, look on the other side. See that same ladder? That front side is bent as well. So there were some powerful storms, as we all remember, this last winter. It's a really nice morning here. A few people are out. Should make for a fun video. And there's that old school Laker look. So the Philip R. Clark, built in 1952 at the American Shipbuilding Company, and that's in Ohio. 767 feet in length. As I mentioned, owned by Great Lakes Fleet, and they're based here in Duluth, Minnesota. 25,000 ton capacity. In 1974, she was lengthened 120 feet. In 1982, converted to a self unloader. Seven holds, 23 hatches, one propeller, one rudder. You're going to really start seeing the color as she goes by us because right now, as you notice, the sun, we're pretty much facing towards it. So that's going to create an issue with lighting. But as she goes by, you'll see the that red slash burgundy with the black and the gray and the white. Famous Great Lakes fleet color scheme. Look at that anchor. As you can see, moving really smooth. I love that window AC unit that they have in there. That's awesome. There's a crew member there on deck. You can see some of the back side of the pilot house. You can see she's sitting low. 
full of limestone. Looks like the door is open on the back too. See a crew member that's standing right there in the center portion of the screen you can see. Let's see what's behind door number one. Now I've seen ladders, I've seen lights on with it looks like almost lockers in some of these. <laughs> great old school vessel coming in still getting the work done area lift bridge decibel reading 99.6 the philip r clark was 102.5 but there she comes in now to offload the limestone i tried getting in to that door there you saw as i zoomed in didn't see too much but there you go boat friends on a wonderful morning here in duluth minnesota Another Laker in the book. As you know, boat friends, I appreciate you. And I'll be back here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.